It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And we've seen that with the Baltimore Ravens for those first two losses this season. We even saw it last week in a win because they've been starting off great. They've been starting off really, really good the first three games, especially in those first three quarters. But in the fourth quarter in every single game, even the win last week, they have been just completely collapsing, unraveling, and letting teams get back in it. But against the Bills, they finished, and that's what we love to see. Team Keep It Clean, I'm here to share my post-game thoughts from the game that we watched and we love, where the Baltimore Ravens, all Baltimore Ravens, beat the Buffalo Bills 35. They put up 35 points and only gave up 10 points to a Josh Allen led Buffalo Bills team. A lot of people were calling him the current MVP. And, and look, Josh Allen is great. He's a great player. Do not get me wrong. But tonight, the Baltimore Ravens, they were just so much better than the Bills. Lamar Jackson was just so much better than Josh Allen. Derek, like we're we going to get to all of that in my post-game thoughts. Now, before we do, I got to tell y'all about Autograph. And Autograph is a free app that is a one-stop shop for Baltimore Ravens coverage. And it's really just a great app to be a fan. They have tickets on there with no fee. So if you ever want to go to a game, Autograph will take care of you. Uh, we do all weekly Baltimore Ravens game previews exclusively on the Autograph app. So if you want to check those out, Download Autograph. I will leave the link to it uh, right as, as the pinned comment. And when you download it, use code TKIC. You know, team, keep it clean when you sign up. And it's completely free. I guarantee you'll love it. So, with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, they started the game off great. The best way you can start it off. Uh, they stopped the Bills from getting into the end zone. And then on their very first play, very first play, Derrick <laughs> I loved it, man. Derrick Henry took a carry, 87 yards, touchdown. And I didn't know that was the longest run in Baltimore Ravens history. Derrick Henry got it. Derrick Henry is off to a phenomenal start with the Baltimore Ravens. It's like every game, he just gets better. He gets more involved. He goes off more and more. The Baltimore Ravens, they finding something. Now, there were a lot of people that said, oh, Derrick Henry's wash. Derrick Henry can't do nothing. Derrick Henry, uh. And Derrick Henry has been shutting all of that noise all the way up. First game against the Chiefs. He got his touchdown early on, but then, like in the second, third quarter, the second half of the game, he got pretty quiet. Next game against the Raiders. He was more involved throughout. He had a good game. Scored another touchdown. Um, but it just obviously wasn't enough. But in the third, against the Cowboys, he said, oh, y'all didn't want to sign me? Watch this. I got something for y'all. Derrick Henry went off. Two touchdowns, might I add. And then tonight, he said, oh, we in that all black? Oh, we going against this undefeated team, these Bills? And in their, la their last two games, the Buffalo Bills defense has held their opponents to 10 points each. Now, I know one of those opponents was the Miami Dolphins, and they lost to her during that game, but still, 10 points. And then last week, well, it was it's T. Law, the second highest paid quarterback in the league, and they held him to 10 points. Buffalo Bills, been, and, and they've scored at least 31 points in every single game this season, except against the Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> Ravens end up, they say, oh, oh, that's what y'all been doing, Bills? Oh, we can do the same thing that y'all been doing to people. Y'all been bullying people like that? Well, watch this. 35 points, man. 35 points, and they held Josh Allen, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Don't get it twisted now, because I, I don't like the fact that I know so many people put Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson against each other, so I know when a lot of fans, they get to talking, then they could be, all right, well, Lamar's the best and Josh Allen sucks, or Josh Allen's the best and Lamar sucks. A lot of fans get on that, and I don't like that because both quarterbacks are amazing. Both quarterbacks are like that. Both of these boys, they can play. Now, only one of them got two MVPs. But anyway, both of these boys could play, seriously. And, again, Josh Allen is one of the best in the league, in my opinion. But he wasn't tonight, so he loved it. But shout out to Josh Allen. Um, what the Baltimore Ravens defense did to him was nothing short of amazing. We'll, we'll talk about the defense in a little bit. Back to the offense. Derrick Henry, 199 rushing yards. That's Madden type of numbers. 
199 rushing yards. And he got started. Uh, he had 24 carries for 199. Averaged 8.3 yards a carry. Had one touchdown on the ground. He also had another one through the air. But he was he could have had three touchdowns total, but he fumbled uh, on the goal line. Shout out to Rasul Douglas, who just made an amazing play on Derrick Henry, like straight up. And real quick, oh, got to give a shout out to on the Buffalo Bills defense, number 42. That man is amazing. He was making plays literally from start to finish. And obviously, he wasn't enough. He wasn't making enough plays because, I mean, Ravens still put up 35 points. But number 42 on the Bills defense, that man is a special player, in my opinion. He was really, really good. But anyway, um, Derrick Henry did his thing. And we, we, we continue to see why the Baltimore Ravens have just been in such awe of Derrick Henry, why they wanted to trade for him uh, last season, and why they brought him in this season Derrick Henry has been a wonderful asset to the Baltimore Ravens and I love 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 the fact that in the first quarter they use Derrick Henry in the second quarter they kept using Derrick in the third quarter they continued to use and in the fourth quarter they used Derrick they did not forget about Derrick Henry so many times we see the Baltimore Ravens a player will be hot a player will be going off and they'll forget about him and now I got to give credit to defenses too because defenses do make adjustments but Sometimes it seems like the Ravens just make it easy for them. But not tonight with Derrick Henry. Now with Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson was doing his thing too. Because Lamar Jackson threw two touchdowns. One, like we mentioned, to Derrick Henry. One to New Money Justice. Our guy, New Money Justice. He has been, he's amazing, man. We love Justice Hill. Justice Hill is nice, man. He has just, last year was his best season that he had as a Baltimore Raven, in my opinion. And this year, he is getting off to such a great impactful continuous consistent start this season justice hill has been he's, he's he's been great for the ravens and we ain't even got keaton mitchell back when we get keaton mitchell back to have derrick henry justice hill and keaton oh man it, it, it'll be a beautiful thing and i did see somebody in our live stream somebody said man do, do the baltimore ravens only got two running backs because <laughs> they only see derrick henry and they see justice hill and they don't see nobody else so it, it can seem that way a lot of times uh, but uh, they do have uh, Rasheen Ali as well. Then they could go to the practice squad. But anyway, Justice Hill has been doing his thing. But Lamar Jackson, uh, he threw the two touchdown passes. Uh, almost threw another one. And it was a defensive holding. Like the Rasul Douglas, he was grabbing Rashad Bateman's jersey. Ooh, but Rashad Bateman, you got to come down with that one, my friend. But it's all good because um, Rashad Bateman, he had that. Well, it doesn't count as a drop. It was a drop, but it doesn't count as a drop because there was a defensive holding. Um, so that, I guess, negated that being a technical drop. Uh, Mark Andrews, he had a drop. Uh, Lamar Jackson, he dropped the ball on a fumble. Where, and that's when, that's when I was like, I was scared because I'm like, man, Ravens were, they were beating the Bills at that point. They were taking care of business. Lamar was running. He said, Mark Andrews, block him, block him, block him. Mark Andrews missed the block. Lamar <laughs> got, like, turned into a little helicopter. He went, but uh, then number 42, like we talked about from the Bills, he knocked the ball out. Great play by 42. Lamar, you got to hold on to that. That was all on Lamar. I know some people say, oh, that's Mark Andrews for missing the block. Yeah, he missed the block, but that's on Lamar. You got to hold on to the ball. You're running with the ball, you, you got to take care of it straight up. But glad that they all made up. For it now, um, before we continue any further, we got to give a huge shout out to the Baltimore Ravens offensive line. They did give up a sack, but for the most part, Lamar was kept pretty clean. And when he did take off, like he was just making some quick decisions. Like I remember one scramble where he he dropped back, he saw the lane, he said, "Oh, that, that lane, this wide open like that? Okay, I'm out of here. Bye, see ya." But the offensive line in this game, they were good. They were giving Lamar time to throw. Uh, they were opening up Russian lanes, obviously. My opinion, Andrew Voorhees, healthy or not, leave this offensive line exactly how it is right now. Don't change it. Don't mess it up. Don't, and I get Andrew Voorhees and the left side of the offensive line. They've been, they've been doing their things. Leave this offensive line like it was tonight. Roger Rosengarten starting at right tackle. Patrick McCarry starting at left guard. Daniel Falele continuing to start at right guard. Obviously, Linda Flinder, Linda Baum at center, and Ronnie Stanley left tackle. But I feel like you, you got you to gotta leave it, in my opinion. You don't fix something that's not broken. We saw what this offensive line did to a good Bills team, good defense. We've we, we seen what they did. We saw what they did. 
And I feel like you just got to keep rolling with that. You have to. I know Andrew Voorhees was his starter and whatnot, but that, that's just my opinion, though. I will leave it just like it is. So we'll see what the Baltimore Ravens do, though. Um, back to the offense. Uh, Zay Flowers, surprisingly, was not heavily involved in this game. We saw a lot of fake jet sweeps to him, fake handoffs to him and stuff. Um, but he was not, I think he got one catch for 10 yards, and that was in the first quarter. That was it. Yeah, but again, he wasn't needed to like, Harbaugh said it. He said it. He, he told us. He gave us a little troll too, but he did tell us like, hey, we ain't bring Derrick Henry in here to have 30 carries a game. But I think last week he had 25 carries. I think this week he had 24 carries. So you know, We knew he was trolling with that. But he did say where he wasn't trolling, like, there are going to be some games where you're wondering why this player doesn't have as many catches, but this player is going off. This is it. It was last week, too. Last week, too. They did the same thing. So if Ravens are winning, especially if they went 35 to 10, okay, cool. Hey, everybody ain't going to go off every game. And I know we, we all want to see players go off. We all want to see them get their stats, get their numbers and stuff. They want their numbers and their stats because it affects their pay. But – not every game gonna be like that, man. Not every one. Um, but yeah, Lamar Lamar only ran the ball six times, but for fifty four yards. So he, when he ran, he was getting some chunks in, man. He was getting them chunk plays. Uh, this game we talked about some drops earlier. There was the, I guess is that technically a drop by Isaiah Likely, on the the one where Isaiah Likely was telling him, "Hey, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up," because I, I know I ain't catch that ball. Was that technically a drop? I, maybe, kind of, I guess, but. So there was that. There was Mark Andrews drop. There was a Rashad Bateman one that didn't count. There was a Nelson Aguilar drop where Lamar threw it way up. Nelson Aguilar tried to get it for one. I don't know if that's technically considered a drop. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But, oh, the Zay Flowers one in the side. Oh, my goodness. That one hurt. Because that was deep shot. Lamar put it right in between two defenders. It was a perfect pass. Zay Flowers on the sideline. He had to tip those down, but he just dropped the ball. So, ooh. But I, I guess the weather conditions are something because the Bills, they were dropping passes too. They were dropping passes too. Some of them dropped passes, saved us. But they were dropping that ball as well. Um, but, again, Ravens offense tonight, they did what they had to do. And just when you thought the Bills, when the Bills got their touchdown, it was looking like, oh, boy, here we go. Oh, man, it's happening. Oh, we really hope this isn't going down. But the Baltimore Ravens answer back. With a touchdown of their own And I said well would you look at that Look at these Baltimore Ravens are, are these the same Ravens we've been watching For the past three weeks Is this the same Well, hey, hey. They're the same team But they say hold up Them tendencies that y'all know about us Not tonight I mean we don't ever want to see those tendencies again But we'll see how the rest of the season goes Now special teams um, Justin Tucker No field goal attempts tonight But Plenty of point after touchdown. So that's what we love to see. We love, like Justin Tucker, he ain't even had to try them out there for a field goal tonight. Um, Jordan Stout had some really good punts. He had that one punt where the Bills returner, he dropped it. But he did end up covering it. So the Ravens didn't get the ball back. But that was great punt. Great punt. So shout out to the special team with Jordan Stout. Um, the Shout out to Justin Tucker with the, the kickoffs because the Bills, they ain't get nothing. Though. They ain't get no kickoff returns. Um, so special teams held it down. Now on to the defense. I mean, what do we have to say? Ten points. They gave up ten. Like, that's huge, man. Josh Allen, who is such a problem in multiple ways, throwing the ball, running the ball. Josh Allen is an issue. But he wasn't no issue for the Ravens tonight. Zach Orr, give him a bunch of credit. Please do, because he deserves it. Because tonight was the first night, was the very first game where Zach Orr made those adjustments and just he didn't just let the offenses and the other teams adjust to him because that's what we've been seeing in the first three games. Because remember, in the first three games, first quarter, Zach Orr's defense, great. Second quarter, Zach Orr's defense, great. Third quarter, Zach Orr's defense, they're pretty good. Fourth quarter, they implode from within. Everything falls apart, not tonight. Not tonight. And again, the the big play that Josh Allen got where it looked like, oh, boy, here we go. Are well, we about to start blowing this lead again? The big play with, with Eddie Jackson, he just he had a little hiccup. Well, it ended up being a big hiccup because that was a huge play. But Eddie Jackson just found himself out of position. Out of position. 
and they gave up a huge, huge, huge play. But and then they end up giving up a touchdown a couple of plays later, but they didn't let that stop them. The Baltimore Ravens did not let that be. Oh, okay, here we go. No, they that was the last points that the Bills got, I believe. Yeah, that was it. Ravens never looked back. Never looked back. This game got so bad that the Bills actually took out Josh Allen in the fourth quarter, had Mitch Trubisky in there. And this game got so good on our side that they took out Lamar Jackson in the fourth quarter, had Josh Johnson in there. He even let him attempt to pass and all to Derrick Henry. So, okay, cool. But I know a lot of fans wanted Derrick Henry to get that 200 rushing yard, uh, but it, it's all good. 35-10, man. You show me scores like that. What? I ain't going to complain about him not getting that 200 rushing yard. If it was Madden or something, then I, I would be spamming it. But 35-10. What, what am I going to say about that? 35-10. Tonight's game, um, before we talk about the defense, tonight was the first game all season for the Baltimore Ravens where they not, didn't get okie doke by the referees. And it was crazy. The, this was the first game because so many oh, – all the games, every single game has had some terrible – like just – Terrible calls from the referees against the re- every single one, like really, really bad stuff, man. Really, really bad stuff, but not tonight. And I know that them calls they have played a big part in those games too. They haven't been the end all be all, but they have certainly been a big part of it. And like I always say, I hate to talk about that, but we got to talk about it because that's been a part of the game. Tonight, the refs they let them play. They went with all the ticky tacky stuff. They were I was so surprised, but happily surprised so thank you but anyway back to the defense um pass rush all night man pass rush was on it and they when when i thought they started to look a little tired zach or switched some stuff up he had marlon humphrey blitzing and stuff yeah kyle hamilton blitzing on and off there was one play i forgot what quarter and down and distance it was but one play with kyle hamilton he faked like he was gonna blitz then drop back oh it's just so beautiful to see but he was sending them. That pass rush was really affecting Josh Allen all night. In the first half, Josh Allen, the Josh Allen, had 42 passing yards. And they said that that was like the lowest passing yards that he's had in a long time. Long time. So, again, shout out to the Baltimore Ravens uh, defense. Looking at Josh Allen's overall numbers, 16 out of 29, 180 yards. No touchdowns. No interceptions. Sacked three times. Calvin Oy got two of those sacks. Calvin Oy is playing out of his mind. Michael Pierce got ruled out of this game. Um, but it's been said that uh, Travis Jones, he's been playing pretty good. And he has been. We see a lot of plays be made by the defensive line. We see Travis Jones, that number 98, all over it. And it was the same way tonight. It was just, it was amazing to see. And Adafi away. He's been killing it too, man. And, and I love how these first four games, the pass rush, something that a lot of us were concerned about, something that a lot of us feared, something that a lot of us were like, oh, man, well, well, what's that going to be? Should we bring in somebody else? The Ravens said, we got this. Adafi Awe been having an amazing year. Calvin Oye been having an amazing year. David Ajabo, he's been looking good. But Matt Abike, he's been doing his thing. Like, he didn't get any sacks tonight, but he sure got some pressure. And then Travis Jones has been amazing as well. Clogging up the middle of the field, getting pressure, getting in the backfield. He's been doing his thing. He really has, man. It's Baltimore Ravens defense, if they can play four quarters every game. Because, again, the first three games, they only played three, three quarters. But if they can play four quarters every game like this, no. But I, I love, love, love what Kyle Hamilton said. And Kyle Hamilton has been looking much better these past two games than he did the first two games. I think he's been getting more comfortable and more healthy. But – uh, Kyle Hamilton said something very important when uh, he was asked about this game. He said, we ain't winning the Super Bowl tonight. So he let it be known, like, look, we won great, but we got a lot, a long way to go. Long way to go. And Kyle Hamilton is like, you can tell that the focus is just through the roof right now. It really is. Even before the game, he was asked, oh, what, what, what's the, the certain player that the Bills – uh, offense should watch out for like on Ravens defense he said anybody wearing black I said whoa okay okay super duper Kyle that's how we talking 
Roquan Smith in this game. Um, I don't think he necessarily looked better because uh, he still looks a, a bit sluggish, but a little less sluggish. So maybe getting a little more comfortable, but he still did give us some plays in the middle of the field. Uh, and that's been an issue all year. So they still got to work on that. Uh, I, say he, I guess he looked a little bit better than he has looked the past three games, but still a bit sluggish. Um, but this, again, Zach Orr, that's why it's important to make adjustments because if your player is struggling in a certain area, it's important that you try to cover that up the best way that you possibly can. So shout out to Zach Orr for not making uh, Roquan Smith a liability tonight. Um, Brandon Stevens in this game. Um, Brandon Stevens is He's such a tricky player Because he, he just reminds me of Anthony Averett And uh, And what I mean when I say that is that He's always around the receiver The receiver doesn't burn him The receiver doesn't is not wide open when Brandon Stevens is covering him But he has trouble sometimes Turning his head around in time To make a play on the ball Sometimes not sometimes he be getting it But the other times where he just He struggles to turn his head around And Keon Coleman was getting him tonight uh, He certainly was um, but overall, he, he gave up a couple plays, but overall, he had a solid game. Marlon Humphrey, good job, my friend. Good job. Uh, had a nice pass breakup, especially in the slide against uh, Shakir, I believe. Uh, but Marlon Humphrey, he's been playing good ball. Oh, Darius Washington, he don't get in the game too often, but when he gets in the game, he looks great. He looks phenomenal, in my opinion. He always looks good when he's playing. So shout out to our Darius Washington, man. I remember they gave him, I think he was the highest paid undrafted rookie free agent a couple years ago when they first signed him. Um, we see why. We see why they just continue to keep him around. Even when he's been hurt, we see why they continue to have him on this team. Our Darius Washington can play some football, man. He really can. And he was a safety in college um, next to, uh, I think, Trayvon Morig, who plays for the Raiders, I believe. But our Darius Washington has been really good, man. He's been really good. Um, Nate Wiggins. Oh, Nate Wiggins. He uh he looked good. He almost gave up a catch, but I think Keon Coleman just dropped. Oh no, I think that might have actually been on Brandon Stevens. I don't remember. But anyway, Nate Wiggins has looked pretty good. Um he dropped two picks tonight though. I said, Oh, this is why you play defense. Oh, they, 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 the Ravens were they were dropping some picks tonight. I mean they were dropping on offense and defense. The Bills were just dropping on offense because on defense, like they weren't getting close to no picks at all. So shout out to Lamar Jackson. Um, Lamar Jackson has not been, he ain't been throwing no picks this season. The only pick that he threw was a Rashad Bateman drop. But Lamar been taking care of the ball. But anyway, um, we on the defense. Nate Wiggins dropping the picks. Oof. Uh, Marcus Williams. I did not notice him this game. Um, so I guess that that's a good thing because they held him to 10 points. So something must have been going right. Uh, but I, I didn't really, uh, yeah, I didn't notice him this game. So I would say that that's, that's good, I guess. Um, but, yeah, Trent Simpson, he was out there a little bit. Um, I did not see Malik Harrison. And maybe I just missed him, but I don't think we saw Malik Harrison really out there. Uh, and maybe that's, that's an adjustment by Zach Orr because we know for the past couple of weeks, Malik Harrison has been out there, but he's been in pass coverage, and it's been, that's an issue. That's not his strong suit. He, he does so much better than a lot of different other things, but uh, other than pass coverage. So maybe that's Zach Orr adjusting. Maybe that's Zach Orr getting a better feel for his players or get a better feel for his personnel on what they specialize in and what they don't specialize in and just putting them in positions to have success. That's what you got to do as a coach. So Zach Orr, again, huge shout out to him, man. Going against, again, one of the best in 10 points. That's like, that's insane to me, man. It, it, it really is. Uh, but I'm glad that the Ravens, they came through. They took care of business. I'm glad that they, uh, for a team like as hot as the Buffalo Bills were, again, Ravens, they they shut it down, man. And like we said at the beginning of this video, it's not about how you start. It's how you finish. And the Baltimore Ravens finished in a major way. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn your notifications on so when anything drops, you don't miss it. Uh, and leave a like on the video because it helps out a ton. And we we don't just like, we love 
how this game went for the Baltimore Ravens. We would love that this could be a big turnaround for this season. They lost the first two games very, very close. But now they've won their last two games, and they're back at 500. The Steelers, they lost to the Joe Flacco Colts. Uh, the Browns, they lost to Gordon Minshew, Raiders, like we did. Uh, the Bengals, they sitting at one and three. They won their first game against Andy Dalton and the Panthers. Uh, so Ravens are two and two. So they're in second place in the division, one game back behind the Steelers. So we we, we back, but it's important now for the Baltimore Ravens to continue this momentum, to continue to get better, and continue not to be satisfied.